Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're going to be talking about the Associated Press and the mainstream media lying about Joe Biden becoming the President-elect of the United States of America. Let's go take it with a very conservative, very reliable Fox News. The Fox News decision desk can now project that former Vice President Joe Biden will win Pennsylvania and Nevada, putting him over the 270 electoral votes he needs to become the 46th president of the United States. It's false. It never happened. It's a fake. It's fiction. It's an urban legend that never happened. No way. We got you. Not a chance. Not this time. It never happened. As you can tell, it's lies, 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 all fucking lies. And I can tell you exactly in this video why that is, and you might just say, oh, I'm just a conspiracy theorist. Well, isn't that just the name we've been all been given because we're all tinfoil hat conspiracy theorists that go against the narrative of the mainstream media? What has happened through the entire week of being told Joe Biden has won the presidency and Donald Trump has lost and become a sad when baby is pathetic and sad to be seen from mainstream media outlets. It's now becoming more evident every single day that conservative meanings for the entire week have been shriveled down to the minimus of ears. The media has now become the ordinance of the media leftist extreme propaganda machine, Orwellian if you may call it that. And it is probably closest to Orwellian as we're going to get it. You are long, we are light, and no questions asked. So why is it every time mainstream media gets asked about associated allegations of voter fraud and so on and saying there's actual evidence and then they say there's no evidence but then there's Republicans and conservative minded people who can give them evidence but they don't listen to them. There are recounts, there are audits, and there are lawsuits, and due process needs to play out here yeah. in the United States. So a real clear winner is had. Right. Democrats and Republicans alike should have a president that everyone supports and believes right. is fairly elected. As of right now, there are massive allegations of voter fraud, and you need to... They're not, there are not massive allegations of voter fraud. There are claims of massive allegations. There are not massive allegations. There are a few individual cases, uh, but there are not massive allegations. And again, it is wrong to tell the world that that is the case. And uh, what is more, you know perfectly well that when the states do certify the results, which they're probably going to do in the next couple of weeks, that's game over. You can't overturn certified state results, can you? No one is arguing who the winner should be. The American people deserve. You are. The you are. You've just said. You've just said Joe Biden. You've just told me. You've just told me told Joe Biden is not the winner. So you are arguing it. Don't say you're not He's arguing not it. You are. He is, darling. I told you that he is not the president-elect of the United States, which he is not. He has not been certified by each state secretary of state, and the electoral college has not met yet. So if you want to be a proper Brit and be technical, those right. are the technicalities. I can say that is a massive room for fraud to be existing in that space alone. But the truth is there is no way Joe Biden has won the presidency. And the fact is, no one has won the presidency right now. Even Trump has not won the presidency. And this has been a week. And this is again recorded on the 15th of November 2020. So if you can think of some not associated facts been going on. There's been a lot of things been going on this week and it's mainly been lies. Now let's go and point out the obvious thing of the Constitution of the United States of America, which is a big document that was written by the Founding Fathers of America, by the way. If you haven't forgot who those people are, you might think they're all racist. Don't care. They're not. I don't fucking care. So in the Constitution it says there's many things that have to be done for the president to be elected. And there's also one of these things that they also invented. I believe it was them or someone after that. It was called the Electoral College. The Electoral College is it's a design and its original job is to tell who wins the presidency, not the media. The media does not call out who wins an election. The media does not tell everyone who wins states. The only people who win states is a high official or a judge from those states, like Cuomo from New York will tell everyone who has won the New York State Democrat, by the way. And Lully Giuliani gave out the best one. I think this is absolutely hilarious. I should let you watch it because it's the 
funniest and most truthful way of how this is won. The call for Joe Biden isn't, is it, who was it called by? All the, all the oh my goodness, all the networks. Wow. All the networks. We have to forget about the law. Judges don't count. All the networks, all the networks. All the networks thought Biden was going to win by 10%. Gee, what happened? Come on, don't be, don't be ridiculous. Networks don't get to decide elections. Yes, Giuliani, fucking brilliant. The media does not call out the election. The states do, the judges do, of that Pacific state call out who wins the presidential election. And I don't... I don't know if anyone watched it on the night of the election. I mean, it was very interesting to watch how this was going to go. But we all knew this was going to go to shit. There was no way this wasn't going to go to shit. Donald Trump told you this was going to go to shit before, like the first debate. So there was election fraud everywhere. But it's not like Joe Biden told us. No, it's like, no, 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 no. Maybe Joe Biden told us after the election or in October time that there was going to be massive allegations of fraud. Was there? We have put together, I think, the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of American politics. Yes, right there. Even Joe Joe even admits himself that his organization was trying to make sure voter fraud was actually a thing. And even if this was partially due with under due government, yeah, that is a nut of surprise. Because they never, for the amount of years that we had with total Russian collusion, despite it was proven by the FBI, remember the fact there was impeachment processes underneath false accusations, which were proven, and the FBI was used by the, F the CIA was used by the Obama administration to spy on Donald Trump's campaign. That is not a lie. It's all proven and has been evidence it out everywhere. Use your fucking logic. And look for it yourself, and don't believe everything the media tells you. Because, whether you liked it or not, Donald Trump was an actually a bad guy. He actually did quite a lot of good things. World peace, for example. But the thing is, the media never fucking told you anything that he did good. He made peace deals. He pulled American troops out of fallen countries. Got American lives less involved with the world. And putting America first. You know that thing, let make America great again. You know, a lot of countries should take that slogan on. But let's go and take Saga and Avocado's view of, you know, the exact stupid reason that we, eight years of Biden administration compared to Donald Trump's lane, it's much better of four years compared to the eight years. From Biden. Uh, I like, and I saw the. Uh, all of the massive outrage on the left. Oh my God. He's basically installed a neoliberal cabinet. No shit. Like Trump at least is going to be enacting the populist agenda, you know, making peace around the world, bringing the troops home, putting America first to make sure that the economy's booming so everyone's got jobs and everyone's got money in their pockets and lowering your taxes. Oh, what a fucking Nazi. <laughs> like for Biden, he's going to repeal those tax cuts. He's going to bring back critical race theory, which is apparently uh, early on his agenda. And uh, I don't doubt that within six months you'll be in a new foreign war. Look forward to the, the it's business as usual. And I love the way they say this. I just think, oh, it feels like it's going to go back to normal with Biden. It's like, yeah, but don't you remember the blood pouring out of our eyes because of how fucking insufferable and unsustainable the normal was? Like, normal was awful. Normal was killing brown kids around the world for with drone strikes and i watched a documentary on this and they had a great line in it it's like look the drones fly up so high that you can't see them and so you turn the clear blue sky into something foreboding dread and death can come out of just nowhere like the missile can be fired from like a mile away and then boom just blows up a village and you think fuck that's awful. And this is what the left have been saying about this race. And I totally agree with them. I think war should be fought, you know, face to face. <coughs> the mechanization of war is, is really making it worse in my opinion. Uh, you know, you can bombing people in the Middle East. That's fine. Because, I mean, you got mad when Sodami got killed because that wasn't a bad guy at all. But let's go and talk about the election because... There's a lot of voter fraud going about just now. I mean, it's not accusations, it's real. It's very, very fucking clear and real. And 
There's, I think, five states that's doing things like now. Nevada, no idea. Arizona, they're still counting. And I think it's absolutely screwed up over there. I think it's the same with Nevada as well. Georgia has gone so bad, it's going to recount. And we believe Joe B Biden has lost that area. Don't claim someone has won when the counts aren't there. Let's go and watch that clip of the actual how much this could be. So there are recounts going on right now. We know that in Georgia, you have a list of numbers of ballots with only Joe Biden on the ticket. You say it's 98,000 ballots in Pennsylvania, 80 to 90,000 in Georgia, another 42,000 in Arizona, 69 to 115,000 in Michigan, and 62,000 in Wisconsin. Sidney, if this is true, this appears systemic, where is the Department of Justice? Where is the AG Bill Barr? If this is so obvious, then why aren't we seeing massive government investigations? I don't know. We definitely should be. I mean, we're getting reports of all kinds of fraud. We've got a, getting an affidavit from a postal worker now who talks about having been ordered to backdate ballots. No ballots received after the polls closed on voting day should even be counted. We've got multiple states that didn't even follow the rules of their own legislature. That's a federal constitutional issue. There are at least three major federal issues here that will require the Supreme Court to resolve these, this case. And when the okay. votes are really audited and the real votes are counted, Trump will win. He is the president. Yes, as you can see, there's a lot of fraud going on over there, and it's quite very unsettling and worrying for the Biden campaign over there. But the biggest one for us, and the one of us who want the fair election and see the actual results and actually believe the electoral college, English, to actually succeed and tell us who's won, you know, their job, is to find out what the hell happened in Michigan. Because a lot of you isn't getting told this information that an actual glitch in the system, which funny enough got updated the day before the election, just just to point out one of the big conspiracy hospitals, whatever, about the entire thing, a glitch hit the system a day before, and they turned 6,000, this is a state changing, they turned Michigan's votes, 6,000 votes that were going for Donald Trump to Joe Biden. And then they fixed the glitch, and it was actually Donald Trump who won, winning a Senate seat. And the worrying thing is, that same system is now in every state. Every state. Every 50 states, including the six swing states that stopped counting on the night for no reason. I tell you, there's more to discover than you imagine. I'll see you in the next one, because this is not over yet. And Donald Trump is my president. This wasn't enough in Antrim County. Ballots were counted for Democrats that were meant for Republicans, causing a 6,000 vote swing against our candidates. The county clerk came forward and said tabulating software glitched and caused a miscalculation of the votes. Since then, we have now discovered that 47 counties use this same software in the same capacity. Antrim County had to hand count all of the ballots. And these counties that use this software need to closely examine their results for similar discrepancies. The people of Michigan deserve a transparent and open process. We're allowed to observe them all being counted. Oh. The call for Joe Biden isn't, is it? Who was it called by? All the, oh my goodness, all the networks. Wow. All the networks. We have to forget about the law. Judges don't count. Come on, don't be, don't be ridiculous. Networks don't get to decide elections. So guys, thank you for watching this video straight to the very end. So I must have done something like that. You've been able to watch this piece of shit long enough. So thank you guys for watching this video right to the end. And if you want to support my channel in any other way, because we are planning to go big on this channel. We are planning to make sure the left knows us. Make sure the cancel culture recognizes we are a threat. Like me and many other creators, our voices are being silenced every and each day. So we must make sure we stand out to the cloud. And I am going to make sure my voice and freedom of speech is going to be there too. 
And if you want to help me support this, we are on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Parler, and Patreon. We're also on BitChute, and we also have our own website. So if you want to know any special details, make sure you click onto the Parler app and the BitChute so we can get more content on there for the special members on those pages and you get to see more events about what I'm doing. It's going to be a lot of interesting stuff you get to see on those things. So make sure you sign up to all these different pages where you want to get to see what I'm doing and we could get a lot of interesting stuff going on here, guys. So thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one. And remember, hail the Empire!